What is up guys and welcome to the 2000s. Yes, we have switched decades. Emmett is not here today, but uh, we have switched decades and we need to get our butts moving. But before we do that, I'm going to show you guys uh, some of our equipment. Uh, we also put up a new garage here. As you can see, the farm has changed a ton. Like we've gotten rid of our bin site over there, added two big west steel bins, and then these massive meridian bins over where the old pasture used to be. So we got some new equipment as well. As I said, uh, that shed is a big, or I guess I'll show you inside all the sheds, but I'll show you these first. So for one of our medium horse tractors, we got an MX285. In case you guys didn't know, this is tractor is very special on our farm in real life we call it the celebrity tractor because my grandma got nominated to go on like a fashion show or a uh, model show or something and on and she is on the national news and she drove up in this so that's why it's so special uh, and then we got a case quad track 535 these are both on anhydrous bars we got to get those going uh, both on double tanks which are empty currently um, in the shop got our forklift and some seed this is not all of our seed yet we still have some more to go and get because like we I mean we only have four pallets of beans and then a little bit more corn because these channel and uh, ag venture bags are bigger than the pioneer bag but uh, we've got two Kinsey 3600s for our planters. One is in 30 inch rows and has liquid on it. One is in 15 inch rows and has no liquid. And then we got a Case Magnum 335. Uh, we've already got some seed in this one though. We've kept the Farmall M, the Case International 7150, the International 1586, and the 4955. John Deere. We also got a R732i sprayer. This will be perfect for putting out our pre-emerge right uh, after we plant. But And we need to get some herbicide bought for that too. Also picked up a lot of new ground. Show you guys here in a bit. Got a couple more things in this uh, 80 by 120 shed. Uh, this is actually uh, very close to the exact shed we have in real life. Uh, our shed is an 80 by 120. These exact colors. But our shed has a door on the side and we're building an office down on that end but 40 foot door on the north end in real life and we kept the Mac because you know the Mac was amazing for us and then we've got a John Deere cultivator 52 and a half feet I have no idea what the model number on this is I think it's a 2630 FH something like that can't remember where the model number is but Anyway, 52 and a half foot cultivator. This thing has been used a lot. Um, I'll show you guys some of the ground. Like field three, we've been uh, we just finished cultivating that. Uh, we've got a cultivate field four, field five, uh, 29, 18, and 23. Uh, this is the field around the dealer right here. We picked that up. Picked up field 29 and picked up field 23 around um, this biomass heating plant. So enough with all that let's go get our anhydrous tanks filled up because they are they have not been filled up yet uh, I think what's gonna happen is the 285 is probably gonna go back on probably back on the planter actually hmm yeah let's use the 535 on the big bar that way we can just knock it out quicker uh, I'm gonna detach that tank though that way we can get use both to pull the pin there and drop it on the ground like I said Emmett's not here so he's not gonna be able to help us we'll just pull this bar in the shed over here let's go and get that open uh, there we go we need to get the 285 on a planter because we've got a field ready to go uh, field three still need to after we put on hydrous on that that'll be ready to go oh can we fit can we uh, that is that was close all right Spin this around here. Just back it over here in the back. Go out and get that detached. Oh, let's get the pin pull. Get these hydraulics out. Get the jack going. There we go. Okay, I think we're good to go. With that, at least. Now, let's open up that door. The big hydraulic door. Get this on. Get 285 on the planer. Buttons over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys my new truck. Get the garage door open here. It's a Ford F250 
flatbed. This was a 2004 model, I think. So I bought it brand new. Uh, this will, I think we're going to have to use this for hauling some seed out to the fields. Just because we don't really need an entire trailer for hauling just a couple pallets. So let's hop on the 285. We'll hop, get attached to the Kinsey. And I think I'm just going to back that back in there for the time being. Jack up, pin in, hydraulics. Good to go. We haven't used this Neither of the planters at all. Okay, and we're in. It off. How close are we? Yeah, uh, pretty close, but we're fine. We'll get this door shut up here. I need to get the truck out so we can go fill up those anhydrous tanks. Shouldn't have shut this. Uh, and then we'll hop into 535 and get that tank detached so we can get it filled up too. I think we're going to have Wayne or Tim come out and run this. Then I'll get them tanks. <laughs> okay, got the pin there. Perfect. I'm just going to get this unfolded and inspect it. I am renting it from the co-op, but, uh, you know, just got to make sure that everything's going well. Okay, all these shanks are looking good. I'll make sure all the hoses are good, too. Uh, everything's looking good so far. Okay. Yeah, I think we're looking good there. Let's get this folded it back up here. There we go. This thing folds fast. Uh, okay, let's get going there. Okay. Okay, well, let's uh, get in the truck over there. We'll get these tanks filled up. All right, so we will see you guys over uh, where we fill up the tanks. All right, guys, we are ready to go. We got the anhydrous filled up, and then we got the other tank over there. We need to apply anhydrous to this field right here, field three. Um, we need to apply anhydrous to field 23 and 29 18 4 and 5 are going to beans so let's get on this anhydrous so we might have to attach to the other bar to be honest but uh once we get this anhydrous done we can get planting this field so uh, we've also got cultivating to do as well it's gonna be a busy video wish emmett was here but i mean uh we'll probably get tim and wayne to come out uh, and run anhydrous, hopefully. <coughs> All right, let's turn on the anhydrous bar. We'll drop her down and get going. Okay, so guys, as you can see up in the top left, we got our application going well too. We can pull up our map here and see that we are putting down quite a bit of uh, anhydrous and um, we're putting it up to the green, so we're putting the uh, correct rate down. It's uh, green on the map, as you guys can see. That's what I'm referring to. And then we've got our f what our flag is, is where we want to be, or where our average is, I think. It's either where we want to be or where our average is. But then the red line is where we are, where the current nitrogen is. So, uh, let's get these ends done. Uh, and then we'll have, I've called up uh, Wayne, and he said he could come out and do some anhydrous for us. So, uh, let's get these ends done here, and then Wayne will be here by then, because I already called him up, and he'll be able to come out and run anhydrous for us. If I had him in, I would stick him in the other bar, or get him on, I don't know, the cultivator or something. Maybe try to put the 285 on this, or leave it on the other bar, and then go and do some cultivating but once we get this anhydrous done we'll be able to put uh be able to plant corn into this so that's why we need the 285 because it goes on the planter without liquid and then the bean planter is all ready to go too uh which honestly we could probably start um with some beans up on or on field four but i do want to get as best yield as we can out of that so we do need to cultivate it so we will catch you guys when these ends done are done and then we'll probably uh be in the planner soon after that so catch you guys then all right guys we got tim going in the anhydrous bar i am gonna get the planner out because we need to uh get this ready to go for corn i've been doing some work on it but we have not gotten it all filled up we need to get the bat we need to get seed in it uh the bean planter uh it has um it's ready to go but we need to get the corn planter all ready, get seed in it, and then uh, make sure everything's all set. It should be, but I need to make sure everything's all set on this. I think what I'm going to do is unfold it and then back it into the shop if there's room. But uh, once Tim gets some area done over there, we can go and start planting that. As you can see on our pre precision farming here, we've got our nitrogen application is doing good throughout here 
see like on some of these spots we don't need it as bad so it's not applying as much like up here we need it pretty bad this field needs it terribly because it had corn and okay let's see i don't know if this eh, it should fit in the shop might be a 40 foot door oh yeah it's gonna fit okay perfect we're getting try kind of get it straightened up if we can let's get all of the things open here there we go okay Everything's set on here. Closing discs are set good. Row cleaners, they look fine. Just need to make sure all these closing discs are set well. It's looking like they are. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's grab the forklift and we'll get some corn seed in this. I think, uh, what were we doing? Need to look at my notes. Oh, yeah, they're in the office over here. Um, okay, yep. Agventure, one Agventure pallet on field three. So let's grab that Agventure pallet and then we'll start filling that into the planter. Just gonna bring it just a little closer. That way we don't have to bring all those bags over there. Okay, let's start throwing bags here. Uh, there we go, dump it in there. Perfect. Okay, and that was all we are doing for now. I can't remember if we're gonna throw the channel seed in there too. I think it's just Ag Venture, but we need to get these all closed up, top out. Okay, um, let's get folded up here because we don't, we uh, can't start yet because oh, Wayne's not done. Make sure we have enough room. You know what I could have done is threw the 335 on this, put this on the other bar or on that bar, and then put the quad track on the cultivator. That's honestly what I should have done, but whatever. Whatever's whatever. So we need to get this or uh, this planter's all ready to go. So what is Wayne doing? Okay, guys, we got Wayne all straightened up there. He didn't. He was kind of clueless on what he was supposed to be doing. But we uh, can get going here because he's uh, that toolbar is bigger than this planter, so we can we can start here, and he should be able to stay ahead of us. I don't know if we're gonna put any liquid in here or not. To be honest, if we get behind. Uh, I may have to throw some anhydrous in these tanks if it's possible. Okay, let's throw the planer on there. It's unfolded. Everything should be good. Drop her down. Let's get going. Planting our population away at 12 seeds per square meter. Okay, so we've got all our settings set. Just hop out here. See what we're doing. Okay, let's do a little dig in there. About six inches apart. Perfect. About half a finger deep is where we want it. Perfect. Population and depth is all set good. Or and uh, spacing, spacing and depth. Um, I'm just gonna do these top or these north ends right here. Okay, that should be good. Then I'm gonna head back up here, and then we'll start doing some back and forth passes, or one one down there to do some ends, and then some back and forth until. We catch up with Wayne. I don't know if we will or not. Get lined up, drop her down, and go. <laughs> Guys, I do have that I uh, tune on this tractor for 113 extra horse. So this thing is about 400 horsepower. It's a big boy. If I didn't get it tuned, uh, it would have been only about 280, 290. Can't remember the exact numbers, but something like that. We're going to do some ends down here as well. Wayne's are rolling well. Every, everybody's doing good really it's only me and Wayne I may have Tim come out here and uh, run the cultivator if we get done with anhydrous uh, because once we get done with that on this field we'll uh, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to cultivate this field over here once Wayne gets done with the anhydrous we'll be able to throw the 535 on the cultivator cultivate that field up so we can get the bean planter going too that's where I might have John or Jake come out and run the bean planter uh, if we get that far. But right now, our main focus is on this field. Okay, guys, I traded places with Wayne. He just doesn't like putting on anhydrous because of all the... Because the, he doesn't like turning with it. So I traded places with him, which is completely fine. It's a power pole. Um, I know he... I got tried to get him out of his comfort zone, but... And I don't want him to break the equipment we'll just run anhydrous for now need to make sure we don't get in the planted ground which is literally right there we need to keep going on anhydrous though that way wayne could catch up with us he's i think he's just gonna work on this little area though for now he's doing exactly what he should do what he should be doing and i forgot to turn the bar on uh, you think a lot of years of experience will pay off sometimes it doesn't all right now let's drop it down 
and actually get going here. There we go. It's okay if we leave just a little bit. There's Wayne. Hey, Wayne, how we doing? Once we get done with anhydrous on this field, guys, I think we're going to switch the 535 over to the cultivator. That way we can get it going on field four so we can get that bean planter going too. Uh, so that'll be perfect. Yep, Wayne's going with that. We're going with anhydrous. Everything's rolling well. I think we're going to throw this in a into a time lapse, guys, just because it's kind of boring just sitting here. But so keep the time lapse. Okay, guys, I'd say we got about uh, three or four more passes left. And then we're definitely going to put this bar away and get the cultivator going over uh, on field four. Wayne finished up that little patch. So once I finish in Hydrus, um, we'll get the cultivator on. Uh, and then I'll probably have Wayne or Tim, maybe have Tim come out and uh, jump in the cultivator. And then I'll do some planting. Uh, but that... Uh, and then we need to plant the rest of this too. So probably, um, I think I'm going to call up Tim and have him jump in the cultivator once we get done with anhydrous. Uh, I need Tim, or not Tim, uh, Wayne. I'm going to have Wayne just keep working on this. I think he's eating his lunch right now. And then I'll be in the bean planter over on field four. So we're kind of getting the home stuff knocked out first. We've still got a field, new field north of the house to do. That's a quite a few big fields like this little strip right here this big field this big field and then this tiny field so it's uh pretty busy right now and then we got the far stuff which is dealer 23 and 29 this is a time where i could really use emmett but he is uh emmett's actually at one of his friends uh funerals right now um i couldn't i tried to make it but i i couldn't and it was his friend i mean not that not that he me and him start a close relationship, but he, uh, he was a good guy. It's just, I, I've got to get this done. And he was re like really close to Emmett. He wasn't, he wasn't terribly close to me, but anyway, we'll keep on rolling with this. 
All right, guys, me and Wayne actually switched out again. I need to get this planner filled up really fast for him. Uh, I think we're going to put uh, channel seed in this, I think. And then after, because the seed I have is just for the home stuff. It's just for these two fields. And I think I have some for the field up north, the north field. But we need to get channel seed in this. Uh, there's already beans in the other planner. I probably should have emptied those out, but it is what it is. Anyway, Wayne's going real quick in the, like I said, Wayne's going in the anhydrous bar. We need to get this filled up really fast so we can get uh, switched back out. Fire up the forklift, and we need to get that channel seed. Pioneer goes uh, on field five, and uh, what's left of field three. The beans go on field four. And then I think there's just a little bit for the dealer field, too. Right, let's throw some bags here. Perfect. think we are full. Perfect. Just, just about. Let's close these up here. Okay. Good to go. Okay, guys. I'm back in the anhydrous bar. Uh, I've got to finish this up real quick and then get folded up back on the cultivator so we can get... The bean planter going. It is really busy right now. I called up Tim. He is actually here waiting for me. I got uh, the planter filled up. Wayne is going in that right now. Ugh. It is busy. But we're going to get this on hydro finished up. And then we're going to get on that cultivator. Okay, last little bit here, guys. And done with this field. I'm just going to fold up and get on the road so we can go quicker. Don't want to drive through all the seed ground, too. Don't want any compaction on that seed. All right, let's go. We're not folded yet. We're going to get going here. Make sure there's no cars coming. Wayne's rows are looking nice. Looking nice and straight. Going to get cultivating this field so that we have a good seed bed. I think we're actually going to no-till uh, field 29, the small field down here. I think we're going to no-till that. It is going to beans, so yes, we are we are going to no-till that. You never no-till corn ground because uh, you got to put anhydrous on corn. So We're going to get detached from this bar, get attached to the cultivator, and I'm going to get Tim going in that because he is actually in the house just uh, getting a couple snacks. They like to raid my fridge for some reason. I don't know. I forgot to shut that dang truck off. Gosh dang it. Shoot. Uh, let's pull this around the bins. There we go. Right here is fine. Get detached. Get the jack pin. Hydraulics. Let's go. Okay, got the cultivator attached here. Uh, and we are ready to go hit the field four. Uh, Wayne's is rolling well in the planter. I'm going to get old Timmy out here in the cultivator. Like I said, uh, there's so many twists and turns in this field. I hate it. Let's get unfolded. Okay, should be ready to go. Let's just make sure to get lined up. Drop her down and roll. All right, guys, take a poll. Who remembers harvesting this field in the 80s when it was split in half? That was, whew, it seemed like just yesterday we were doing that, but 20 years ago, equipment has changed so much. Like that 4955 we still have, it still runs like a champ. I bet you this 535 won't run for, I bet you it'll run for five years max and that'll be it. Well, formal M, the grandpa left us, that thing's still running. Just shows you how older equipment just runs better than the newer stuff. Okay, guys, I just got Tim rolling there. I am back uh, at the 335. We need to get this going over on the other field. We need to throw some beans in here because we are low. Got about 35 bushel in. Need a, I'm going to throw a pallet of Pioneer beans on here. and We should be good to go for a while over there. I'm going to be in this planter. Uh, Tim... Yep, Tim's in the cultivator. Wayne is in the other 3600, the 285. He's uh, 
planting corn. We're gonna be planting beans. Man, I love the sounds on these tractors or on this tractor. All right, let's grab the forklift and we'll grab a pallet of pioneer seed, bean seed. That corn, those two pallets of corn. Uh, I think half of one is for field three, which is the one the field uh, Wayne is in. The other half. Or the uh, yeah the other half and the rest of the pioneer corn seed is for field five because we're gonna need all that corn seed for this. We'll switch our filter here. Uh, you can you guys can see Wayne rolling on field four there. Uh, so we're gonna have to head down there and do that. But we uh we need to wait a bit for him to get some done. But uh, a lot of that waiting is putting this seed in. There we go, getting everything open there. Uh, I think we're putting two pallets in here now. Should be at least. Line up with that one. Guys, I don't think we're going to start uh, bean planting this video. That'll be next video. Hopefully Emmett's here. So if he's not, I'm not going to be very happy. But I think Emmett is going to be here for next video. There we go. That's all done there. Okay. Let's fold up the planter here, and we'll do an outro. I swear, these boxes hold a ton. But uh, those um, those bags are smaller than the channel and the Ag Venture. Okay, let's just get this folded here, and we'll park her in the shed for now, I guess. Perfect. Need to get that sprayer going next video. We'll get some pre-merge down on uh, all of our crops. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates of me, Emmett Jack, harvesting, planting, boating, mudding, gold mining, whatever on Farm Sim or any other game. And we will see you guys later. Peace.